Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So as the title of this video suggests, we're talking about apps that you need to download before you leave the United States. So the first app that I wanna bring up is Google Voice. So Google Voice will give you a phone number uh, that's inside of the United States and it allows you to call any US phone number free of charge. It's kind of a voice over IP situation. Um, you need to register that before leaving the United States. You can port your own phone number if you wanna go that route, if you're gonna be here for an extended period of time and you wanna keep your own phone number. Um, otherwise, just let Google assign you a, a phone number. It'll be somewhere random in the United States, but who really cares, because there's no longer a dial nine for long distance. Now, the next app, most everybody already has downloaded, but whatever your banking app is, whether you know it's Capital One or Bank of America, uh, for me, I use Navy Federal. Uh, that's just my bank of choice, uh, but it's really up to you. But make sure that you download your online banking app in the United States. Sometimes registering it when out of the country can be a problem. So just do yourself a favor and download and register it now. Now the next app that I want to discuss with you is a VPN and if you've watched any video on YouTube I'm sure you've seen the ads NordVPN 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 if you are to use VPN, uh, what I liked about Nord, and I no longer use a VPN, but what I liked about Nord was that it integrated well with the Fire Stick. So if you are using streaming services and you're using a Fire Stick to put it on a television, then I suggest Nord VPN. Now, what about in Cambodia? What are some apps that I use in Cambodia frequently? So first app, it's gonna be Pass App. Uh, it's basically like Uber or Lyft. It uses pretty much the same platform, except it's for hailing tuk-tuks and rickshaws. Um, best part about it is everything's just right up front. Pricing's right out front. You pick up wherever you're picking up. You can set your destination as to where you're going and it tells you what the rate's gonna be before you even confirm the call. The next app that I use quite frequently here in Cambodia is Nom24. Nom24 is basically like Grubhub or DoorDash. You can set up your, your list of favorites. Um, it's a little late to order, but I'll show you what I ordered earlier. So I ordered a fruit milkshake for the kid next door. Got myself a mocha frappuccino, a strawberry frappuccino for the girl who runs the store out front, and a green tea frap. And all of that got delivered to my house and uh, I tip the driver a dollar. That's pretty much my standard tip. Another app that's handy to have here in Cambodia is SmartNOS. So I use Smart as a cell phone provider and internet service. Um, when you exit the airport, the second you walk out the door, the Wi-Fi is gonna be gone. But lucky for you, there's gonna be a SIM card place, a smart shop right out front where you can pick up a SIM card. I uh, pick up a SIM card, set yourself up for some internet data. It all depends on how long you're planning on staying. But the Smart Nice app here, I'll pull that up for you if I can find it. There we go. Is it gives you the ability to change your service and you know like well there you go my one plan for six dollars a month uh, ends in two days and the next one picks up uh, I've increased my data uh, usage quite a bit on the phone so I've upgraded now to the hundred gigabytes a month data plan 10 bucks a month versus the 50 for six dollars but either way having this app is great because you can manage your account from anywhere and if you like the phone number that you get here in Cambodia and you're going anywhere else you can change your plan to an extended time difference or anything like that so that way you can keep your phone topped up easily and maintain your phone number especially if you've got bank accounts here in Cambodia set up with that phone number. Now another app that's kind of handy to have, never really use it that much, but having it is kind of important if you're gonna plan on staying here for 
any length of time anyway, is FPCS. So that is Federal Presence in Cambodia system. So um, once you get your phone number, you log that in. All right, so this next app is kind of a bonus and most people have it, but Google Maps, get Google Maps, whether you're an iPhone user or not. Why on earth is everyone buying iPhones? Just make sure you have Google Maps. What I like about it the best is that it gives you offline map options. So offline maps come in handy when you are in between cell phone towers or you run out of data or you forget to turn on your mobile hotspot, whatever the case may be. Search, you can run directions, anything you want without having any internet. So thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, if you've made it this far, check out what Ed has to say right here as far as what apps he recommends.